hot dogs. I couldn't resist the hot dogs. They oh. always look so, they smell so good. Okay. He recognized this. He said, uh, veggie samosas? <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Hi everyone, so we're here at one of our favorite rest stops on the Coquihalla Highway number 5. Uh, it's the Britton Creek rest stop and Gord just went and got a hot dog and a couple of veggie samosas which are our favorites because they're really yummy and they're homemade. I'm pretty well vegetarian but the smell of hot dogs cooking at the, at the rest stop is just too much so it's, uh, it's about the only time I get to eat a hot dog and I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, this is one exception. <laughs> <laughs> so we are heading out to the Merritt area. We're going to Coldwater Road. And there's a few recreation sites there, the BC recreation sites um, on a few lakes. And we're going to see if we can find a spot in one of the sites. Yes, yeah, so hopefully we'll find a, a nice sunny spot. If we're not successful here, we'll uh, probably drive a little farther until we do find sun. Yeah, it, a lot of people are traveling now in BC, so um, I think it might be a challenge to find the site, but we'll see what happens, and we're basically just winging it today. Even though the uh, U.S.-Canadian border's closed, and largely BC residents are encouraged to um, just travel within BC, uh, from what we've seen, the campgrounds and the recreational areas are very busy. A lot of people, a lot of locals getting out. Mm -hmm. Also on this video, we'll include at the end uh, a trip we did a week ago up near the Whistler area to Iceberg Lake. Uh, beautiful trip where we got to walk up along a beautiful creek, uh, up and through a little bit of old growth forest, and then up into what would be an alpine meadow, but it's still got a lot of snow. And actually Iceberg Lake was still frozen and covered in snow when we were there, but it was still a great day. So we hope you enjoy this video. for a little bit and then it'll turn to gravel and we have to drive about 10 kilometers. Okay, now we're on gravel for a little while. He got out of his enclosure. This road is very washboardy. There's some potholes. Our van is getting shaken up pretty good. next. Went to the three lakes and actually went to a fourth lake called She Lake. She? She? She. She, yeah. Uh, it, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, but it was just too busy for us. Uh, a lot of RVs very closely packed, just not something we wanted to be part of. And then we were at She Lake. Um, there was three great spots, but they were uh, really hard to get into. It was a, we were uncertain whether we, we might be able to get up into them. We just weren't too certain where we could get our van back out again. So we opted to uh, leave and we'll look for another alternative and right now we're having a nice lunch break and it's probably one of the nicest spots we've seen <laughs> yeah i think we, we may have gone to heaven and just didn't yeah. realize we took the turn so it's just beautiful yeah it's gorgeous
walked around a little bit here at um, Long, um, Longbok Lake, I think. <laughs> and um, it's a beautiful lake. There were some campers that had a really loud music on and we just couldn't deal with that. So. <laughs> a spot, a really nice one. We're on Marquam Lake, which is the lake that's closer to the highway from uh, the other lake that we were at, and we're actually really happy with the site, much happier than we were back there, so glad we left. We were going to go to Harmon Lake, where we've been before, but, uh, you know, we thought, well, I'll take the chance and see if there's any sites here, and there were. Yeah, it's not the perfect spot for us. You'll see it's kind of narrow in the grass, but it's nice, so we just have a bank behind us, and we're very close to the lake. And we're just going to see if we can go exploring the grasslands in a few minutes. Good morning everyone. It's just a little after 5 a.m. Sun came up just a few minutes ago. It's a toasty five degrees outside. Saw the moon going down. Just gorgeous. Just such a beautiful day. I got up about 4.30. And I'm out here now I'm just looking at this one little remote lake considering going for a paddle. But I think I'm going to go to the, the main lake. This lake's just so quiet and the birds and the loons are so peaceful. I just don't want to disturb them. So I'm going to go back to the main lake where there's been a number of fishermen in that um, over the course of the last day or so. Just a gorgeous morning. It's beautiful here. Grasslands are phenomenal. Really enjoying being here. Just gorgeous.
find another trail to go for a walk on. 730 yeah, I think. No, no clouds in the sky. Just gorgeous. Hey, you almost missed this path if you're not looking carefully. This is like something out of a dream, walking on the hillside with all these beautiful flowers blooming. It's amazing. Gordon likes to drag me out first thing in the morning. <laughs> I would rather relax at the van and, uh, and look at the water, but I never regret it though, <laughs> getting dragged out because it's, it's so nice. It's quiet, the light's great, it's just beautiful. trail petered out and we just followed some somebody else's footsteps up here to the, to the top of the ridge but um, I think basically this is as far as most people go so the trails kind of disappeared but it's supposed to go to the lake where we were yesterday Hamilton Lake. It's got to be one of the most beautiful walks that Mickey and I have ever done mm -hmm. uh, through these fields and some of the flowers literally yesterday were closed because we were on the other trail and these are open it's amazing just just gorgeous. Such a beautiful morning. transition over from the grasslands to snowy mountains. Here is our trip to Iceberg Lake.
That last bit was fun. It was scary. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my uh, pole and my hat. Slipping and sliding, he just slipped in the mud. <laughs> enjoyed our hike to Iceberg Lake. It was an awesome trip. We really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was nice. I don't know which was which was more pleasant, all the water and waterfalls as we worked our way up, uh, some of the old growth forest, or simply the beautiful views when we got up in the snow. We had a great trip to Markham Lake as well, and in the Lundbum, the Lundbum Lake area, grasslands in Merritt. And our timing was almost perfect, I think, for flowers. Maybe another week later would have been absolutely perfect but this was it was just amazing we really enjoyed the trip and actually we're pleased where we got to stay too it's a little bit of a busy area um, and that i think would be the only negative thing is it can get busy and a little crowded at times and uh, it is an environmentally sensitive area so they do ask us to stay on the trails and on the roads and there is a nice map at the campground that tells you exactly where the trails are so yeah, so we're, and we wanted to explore a little bit more, but we obviously were only there for one night, so we didn't have time, but next time we're there, we can try some of the trails around the lakes. So we hope you enjoyed this video. It was a beautiful weekend, and we, were, we really lucked out. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And we'll see you next time. Till next time.